morning everyone. Uh, I'm Essa Riemann, Managing Director of Valorum Care Group, for those of you who haven't met me. Um, we're switching things up a bit this week, so instead of Robin doing the vlog, you have me. Um, I'm currently sat here in sunny Devon, in fact I've just watched the sunrise over the sea. Uh, we have a couple of services here, so and I also live here, so nice and easy. Um, so let's start with Covid. We've been fortunate enough to ha not have any of the people that we support uh, test positive this week um, for COVID. Unfortunately, we have had a handful of staff. Um, they are well and at home self-isolating and we wish them a speedy recovery. Um, just really to remind you to be vigilant. You're obviously doing a great job whilst you're at work. Just remember to be as safe as possible outside of work. Um, you would have noticed the um, new alerts that went out uh, earlier in the week, I think it was Monday. Uh, if you are unsure as to what services fall into which category, if you go onto CareNet on the opening page, we have a live uh, document there that will tell you which services in which category. For those of you that are traveling, um, you can check this before you go to a service. Obviously, we're encouraging the least amount of traveling as possible, but if you do need to go, please do check that sheet. Um, and also um, a quick reminder about visiting. I know it's really, really difficult. Um, appreciate that loved ones want to get to see their, their family. Um, I know that you probably are having lots of conversations and maybe complaints about not allowing visiting, but we've done a really good job so far and we have to continue to do so. And we need to make sure that everybody's safe. Um, I did uh, speak to some of you earlier in the week about visiting pods, so for you to go away and have a look, uh, if you can uh, build something in your gardens, if you have a spare room within your service that potentially could be turned into a visiting room where the visitor could enter from the outside and the resident enters from the inside, we'll put up screening. So yeah, if you can continue to have a look at what you could potentially do, take that back to your regional manager and we'll look to, you know, as, as quickly as possible get some visiting um, areas available so that we can allow some visiting within the services. Um, so moving on to the app, uh, we have a sign up competition going on right now. So please do everybody get your staff to sign up. The first service to have 100% of sign ups wins a luxury hamper for you all to share on your breaks when you're at work, etc. So yeah, promote the app everywhere, please. Uh, we're also doing a project on our values. We don't want to decide as a management team what our values are. We want everyone to decide, you, everyone. Um, so please do go onto the app. It closes on Monday. Write down what you believe our values should be and the reason why. Um, and yes, we will then hopefully be able to select from those. We, we might do a vote, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll wait to see what happens with that. And lastly on the app is, um, look out for all the fun stuff that's going to be happening uh, on Halloween. So we commence in the 26th of October. We will be doing fancy dress competitions, including, including pets. So I'm sure my dog will be really happy about that. Uh, pumpkin carving. And then also on the evening of Thursday the 29th, we will be having a fun uh, quiz and bingo. So it would be great to see as many of you as possible join us for that. Um, and lastly, um, today, I just want to say farewell and good luck to Karen Hutchinson at Mask Hall. She's a registered manager, has been with the service for over 12 and a half years and is retiring today. So thank you, Karen, for all your hard work and dedication to the service. You will be sorely missed and do come back and visit when you're allowed to visit, obviously, um, and enjoy your retirement. And that's it, I think, from me today. So everybody have a great week. Thank you for your continued hard work, especially in these difficult times. And who knows who you'll get to see next week. Take care. Bye.